This video shows you the final plaque purification step. From a streak plate, such as this well-labeled example, you'll pick one isolated plaque to purify. The student is going to pick those plaque forming particles from her petri dish using a sterile micropipette tip. She touches the tip to the plaque and then places the tip in her phage buffer. Here she's moving the tip around in 100 microliters of phage buffer, hoping that those plaque forming units will be transferred to the buffer. The microcentrifuge tube the student just finished with is her 10 to the 0 phage solution. Now she's going to dilute that. She'll remove 10 microliters from her 10 to the 0 solution and place that 10 microliters in 90 microliters of phage buffer. This becomes a 10 to the minus 1 dilution. She mixes it well, places it to the left in her rack. She's going to discard that tip that she just used and pick a fresh one. Now she'll make the next dilution. She'll be taking 10 microliters from her 10 to the minus 1 solution and transferring it to another 90 microliters of phage buffer. This will become her 10 to the minus 2 dilution. Notice how she works diligently with a pattern, moving the completed dilutions to the left, discarding her tip and mixing the solutions. Now the 10 to the minus 2 is done. She'll create the 10 to the minus 3 in the same way. She opens her fresh tube, opens her 10 to the minus 2, removes 10 microliters of solution, transfers that 10 microliters to 90 microliters of phage buffer, closes it, discards her tip, mixes, and replaces her 10 to the minus 3. We'll watch as she finishes her dilution series. When the student is finished, she'll be ready to infect her Mycobacterium smegmatis cultures with 10 microliters of each of those dilutions. She'll then plate those out and we'll see the results the following week.